one stay-at-home mom and one software test analyst have managed to do something a lot of Americans can't, stay out of debt. And they've done so while saying yes to life over and over again, which caught the attention of international media. For this week's Pro-Life Focus, we introduce you to the Fatsinger family. For Sam and Rob Fatsinger, <laughs> <laughs> I say this is reality. Finding quiet time doesn't come easily. Should I unclip and go get them? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, <laughs> joyful sounds in our house. This Catholic couple has 13 children and one foster child, with ages ranging as young as five up to 27 years old. Are we going to make a fence? Here. I'm making a house. Is it a house? Well, what's that thing? Oh, yeah. Well, what's what's the long thing you make? Playmates are in no shortage here. Kind of fun. I feel bad for other people who want to play with one or like another school. They don't get to play as much. 13 plus kids might come as a shock for some, with U.S. birth rates at their lowest in recorded history. But that's not the most surprising number in this Maryland home. What captured the attention from media like the Washington Post, the Daily Mail, even calls from reality show producers was the number zero, as in the fat singers have zero debt. The family credits mom's simple living style and dad's number crunching skills. I've always been interested in, well, money, but in finances and numbers. I was worked at a bank in college, and then when I got out, and Sam's good about um, not the number part, but she, she doesn't like, like to shop or want anything fancy or doesn't have expensive tastes. They even paid off their home in just over 12 years. At first, I was like this huge, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then I was like, hey, wait a minute, you know, I've been pin pinching pennies and trying to get cheap cuts of meat and using cloth diapers and you paid our house off? Like you've been hiding money from us? But it was, then I was so grateful and I was so proud. The Washington Post calls them the Einstein of economical because they've perfected the formula to get their kids an undergraduate degree on a bargain. Two years of community college because it's about half the price. The tuition's half the price, and you can transfer to any Maryland state school. Their children also know not to expect a handout, and so far, they're all graduating without debt. The parents believe financial freedom is essential for staying open to God's future plans, something they want to share with young couples. I would even like to get, catch them before they go to college, because I think that we have so many friends who are going into so much debt after college that when they're either postponing getting married or postponing having children because they have so much college debt. This, this household doesn't claim to be perfect. Sit down at the table, <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want you to take your yogurt in the kitchen. In the but knows how God works through their imperfections. Like cars breaking down and, you know, the people helping us out in so many different ways. God doesn't say, I got this planned for you. He just says trust and say yes. The Fat Singers remind us to keep family trees rooted in faith and trust God will care for the many branches. We kind of have a joke when our kids are dating and to, or getting engaged and I'll be like, okay, what's the secret answer if I ask you, how many kids do you want? It's not, I want seven, I want 10, I want three. It's how many God give me. Rob and Sam Fatsinger make sure to go on a date night every Wednesday. Thank you, Fat Singers, for welcoming me into your home. What a beautiful pro-life witness.